Hello everybody, this is JJ Free Time here, and today in this video I'm going to be showing you an air freshener I recently got on holiday. Now, um, way back when I was taking my break um, on YouTube, I also went on holiday uh, to Skydesk, if you must know. I went back to the old place and um, I got this while I was on holiday, this little air freshener. It doesn't have a name, as far as I know, and it's very cheap. I got this for a pound. It came with a refill. This is not the refill, by the way. The refill that came with it is not in here either, but the refill that was in it was pretty damn bad. Um, I plugged it in and it smelt, well, I don't know what the hell it smelt like. It was just not orange and it wasn't whatever the hell it was that was supposed to illuminate. Anyway, I thought on holiday I'll get the unit and the air freshener and I would also get the refills of these. Now, these were a pound, pretty good. I'm sure Poundland does the same, but... I think it's called Bloomy or whatever the hell it is. I think that's the make of it. And uh, it looks like your typical air freshener you can get from Poundland probably. You've probably seen a million of these around. But uh, I got the refills. So this is not a bad unit in my own personal opinion. There's a few things that are pretty damn terrible about it. And that is that you don't get an option for you know, telling it what uh, number you want it on, like one to five, like some of these other air fresheners, like the Airwick, you can get a, the unit itself for a pound and have a turn on the top and have it as much aroma as you want. Um, this doesn't have it, but for an air freshener that's cheap, you won't be using it long because they don't last long, these don't, unless you keep buying them. Now, the refills <coughs> themselves look like this, like so. The 20 millilitres. And this right here is a 20 millilitre already in it. And already you can see that it's near halfway there. Now, 20 millilitres is very, very poor. It doesn't uh, last as long as it says. And according to the packet, you get two refills for a pound. Now, that's not bad, in my opinion. Very, very good. And these refills do smell better than the original that it came with it, which is great. It doesn't tell you the proper ingredients, it just says it's impotent. And now I am. Anyway, uh, <laughs> so it's an Ashes joke. But this one is supposed to smell like uh, flower and orange, and it does actually smell it um, exactly what it shows on the, the box, which is good. But the original that came with it was supposed to smell like, well, orange and something else, but it didn't. So I thought, you know, get the refills as well on holiday with the unit, so, you know, I'll have an air freshener when I get back. Unfortunately, on the timer, I hardly smelt it in the room. And just now when I've plugged it in the kitchen, it's working pretty well. <laughs> so I don't know what was wrong in that light, but yeah. But uh, it's, it's said on the box that it could last up to four weeks or something like that. I can't specifically remember. But this has not lasted me for two weeks. And it's expected for a cheap air fresh. I mean, none of them, you know... <laughs> actually lasts as long as you think on the box because you got to remember they have to be turned on and off on and off a few times and such like that and not to forget you know it's the same with uh, some CFLs as well on the market they say the last 10 years but you got to remember they take two years because you turn them on and off more often they wear out so but yeah this unit is pretty good the only thing I can diss it is it it looks it goes more towards the wall and, and uh, that means I think the refill doesn't uh, come out as easy. Um, but for a cheap air freshener you can't really complain. I mean I got this at Skin Nest and it was pretty cool. Um, yeah they're 20 millilitres you can tell right there. So yeah not a bad little unit. Uh, if you're looking for a really cheap air freshener I would recommend getting it. I mean the one I've got in the living room right now uh, is a uh, Ambipure and I've put a lavender one in there. Freevolution one which cost 2 99 when you can get them probably 6 99 for the, the two refills. Uh, two refill of the uh, two threes. Um, 
I changed it in the living room because this was not working anymore. I, well, I thought it wasn't, so I just stuck it in the kitchen. It started to work properly again. So that's the weird thing about it. it you think it's not working, but then it does start working, which is a big problem with this, I think. <clears throat> but yeah, with the refills, you, you know, you do get a nice aroma for one pound. So I'd recommend you to get some. I mean, they're pretty good. And uh, yeah. Um, I'll stick it in the wall right now and show you what it looks like. So let's move the camera. Whoa! I do apologise about the pans and pots. Let's plug it in. We can see what I see. Yeah, there we are. And uh, do you turn it on? And uh, there's no light to indicate that it's on. You just gotta assume it's on or wait for it to catch fire or something. Uh, that's another thing that uh, I don't like about cheap air fresheners is they don't put an indication light on so you don't know if it's on or not. Some sockets don't even have a switch uh, in the UK. Some of them don't anyway. And uh, you don't know if it's alive or not. And you're just going to wait till it emits an odour, I guess. Just like my underwear in my laundry. But there you go. Pretty good, in my opinion. Excellent product, in my opinion. Um, the thing is, I'm not reviewing this, but I think it would be more like a 6 or 5 out of 10. Not as great as the AmbiPure one. Yet yeah, again, that is a very expensive unit. I mean, even the um, the uh, three-way evolution thing, whatever the hell it is, I call it evolution, it's evolution, um, is about two quid for the unit, but the uh, refills themselves are 2 dollars in, in, uh, in that's, and that's on sale. Uh, so, you know, that's, that's actually on sale for 2 dollars for the actual uh, refill if you you know shop around uh, I believe they're like more like four quid or something stupid like that um, which really annoys me which is why I got this on holiday to use oh, and someone's getting told off by the cops anyway thanks very much for watching don't forget to comment rate subscribe I know you don't forget but I bet you get fed up with me saying that and uh, thank you very much for watching more things to go on the channel blah de blah